surprise this morning. Yes. How was that? Well, I feel like I was more scared than Damien. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm actually, I, I love the look of a snake. I, I'm scared of them. I am, I am terrified of them. But, you know, they're, they're actually fascinating. They're really fascinating they're creatures. Really fascinating. Very cool. Time we get to Thursday. All right, Damien, I've got a little surprise <laughs> for you. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like you're more surprised than I am. Oh, my goodness, he. Uh, we've got, oh, 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 straight away, oh, that's it. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, wow, okay. So, uh, <laughs> a snake has just been put, around, been put around my neck right now, and it's slithering around. <laughs> we were talking earlier this look, morning look, look about at, your close well, encounters with woo! snakes, because it's snake season, yes. and we both saw snakes on Friday, and I thought... Ah. We'd surprise right. Damien with a All snake right. in the studio. Wow, now I'm, I'm delighted. Just, I'm, I'm just, delighted. I'm discovering that I'm a little bit more heebie-jeebie <laughs> by the snakes than Damien is. You I'm jumped trying to away. sit on, Damien, on Dino's lap right now. Okay, wow. 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 I've got a diamond python around. I got it. Can I tell you? It actually feels pretty cool. I, 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 wow, it's such a weird... It's slithering down my back at the moment. Okay. Uh, wow. They actually do feel quite cool because I guess being reptiles wow. and everything like this. So so this is the, the Dragon Training Mobile Zoo, all right? And we've got Kalen here. He's a, a head keeper. Just talk to this microphone, Kalen. What is this thing slithering around yeah, my neck right now? This is so cool. It's a black-headed python. This one comes from the top of Australia, so you won't find this one around here. Wow. But it is actually a unique one, as it's actually immune to venomous. This one actually eats venomous snakes in the wild. Wow. Oh. I like you. Can I take you home? <laughs> so this is a surprise. Damien, you had a surprise for him. He thought I was bringing him some lollies. I, I thought lollies. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, wow, I'm getting lollies. Well, they're kind of like Alan's snakes. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Just don't try to eat it. <laughs> I've I, I got to be totally honest with you. They, it's an, an incredible to be so close to these. I mean... It's fascinating, isn't it? Just feeling their bodies. You can feel that the, there's movement the entire way along these uh, this snake's bodies. It's incredible. Right. They're like they're like a full thing of muscle. Yeah, just hey, to, look, to get your advice, because clearly you know a lot about snakes, guys. It is snake season, and we were talking about you know encounters with some venomous snakes. What's your advice if you see a snake this summer? What do you do? It's always the same advice. You leave it alone and call a snake catcher. But do you run away? Do you stand still? Like, what's the process? If you, if you leave them alone, they're going to leave you alone. Standing still's the best. If, it, if a snake's coming to you, you stand still, it'll generally just go straight between your legs. Okay, so if a snake's away. coming to you, you stand still, it'll generally go straight between your legs. That's wow. Cool. Right, thank you, Rory. Thank you, Kayla. You know